Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. In today's video, I'm sharing four DIYs and they are Christmas themed, so it's Christmas in July. In July. DIY number one. I had this piece of wood, I got it from the Dollar Tree and I did paint it with Rust-Oleum's chalked ultramat paint in the color linen white. And I have a piece of scrapbook paper, craft paper, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just trying to position it and make sure it's where I want it to be. And I'm adding a layer of Mod Podge on top. And yes, I left the tail end of it there because I'm gonna sand it off in just a bit. And now I'm taking rub-on transfers. These are also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just trying to line it up to see where I'm gonna place everything. I was kind of trying to decide if I was gonna use the E with the underline. But instead I went back to the regular E and I'm spelling out the word Mary. And now I'm adding the embellishments with Supervisor Captain's help. And it's just some tree garland that I had left over and some berries. And just trying to add a little bow at the top. Maybe, maybe not. I decide not. Actually, I decide to keep the bow. And I think it looks pretty cute. Today's video is part of a playlist and that will be linked in the description box below, but I wanted to give a shout out to our four hosts and they are Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun, Missy from Crafty Co, Tammy from The Rusted Willow, and Stephanie from Mama Can Make It. Thanks ladies for hosting such a fun playlist and I hope you guys check out all the videos in the playlist after you watch mine. DIY number two. So this DIY is actually inspired from a whiskey and wit video that I watched. It'll be linked in my description box below. But I had this picture frame that I got from a dear friend, Bill, and um, as you can see, Captain's helping me again. Anyway, I took out the glass and I purchased this frosted glass um, spray paint and I spray painted the glass to give it the frosted glass look. And I'm just kind of wiping it off to make sure everything's clear. And I'm gonna be adding this decal that I cut out from my Cricut. It's one I purchased on Etsy and it will be linked in the description box below. It's the same one that Whiskey and Wit used in her video. But as you can see, when I did it, it was actually too low. So I had to reprint the decal and put it up a little bit higher so that it would not, it would like you would be able to see it. And Captain's laying on the, that little blanket to help me out. I'm trying to be super careful because some of the pieces are really small because I did it on a little bit smaller scale than Whiskey and Wit did. And so anyway, it ends up working out just fine. You just have to take your time. And when you're pulling back that transfer tape, just pull it back really slowly. And now I'm adding the star at the top and make sure everything is wiped off. And I'm gonna glue it using E6000 glue to hold it inside of the frame. And this is how it turned out. I think it looks pretty darn cute. Now this is daytime, but let me show you how it looks at night. I just put a little tea light, one of those battery operated tea lights behind it. And y'all, it just looks so pretty and so sweet at night. DIY number three. So part of the challenge for today's video was to create two DIYs that were inspired from Christmas movies. And so I had this extra piece of scrap wood just in my garage and I printed out a decal that says, It's a Wonderful Life. And yes, that's the title of the movie. But um, I just, I thought it looked nice. I'd seen a sign like this before and that's how it turned out. And I think it looks pretty good, but y'all know me. I can't just stop with one side of the sign. I've got to flip it over and I did the reverse. So I did white, on black on this side. And I think it looks cute too. DIY number four. Now this is a Frosty the Snowman inspired project and I got this pumpkin shaped wire wreath form from the Dollar Tree. I got the microfiber cloth from the Dollar Tree and I'm basically just gluing it to the outside and I'm using those little mini clips to kind of hold it together. And I'm just gonna go all the way around gluing it to the frame. Now this wreath was inspired by a lady, I can't think of her name right now, but I'm gonna link her video in the description box below. Now that I've got that all glued down, I'm just gonna trim out the excess 
on the inside. And then I'm gonna make a nose. I have some orange felt and I'm gonna wrap orange chenille wire or pipe cleaners around it just to give it some extra texture and extra shape and then I'll glue it to the front of the snowman's face. I got these buttons from the Hobby Lobby and they were like 50% off or something and then I've got two larger ones for the eyes, smaller ones for the mouth. Now I got this hat from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut it in half because I'm actually going to make another one but um, you're just going to need half the hat. I got the material from Hobby Lobby and I was trying to decide if I was going to use it on the hat itself but I decided not to. So you're going to cut a little hole in the corner of each of the uh, sides of the hat and then you're going to stick the zip tie through to attach the hat to the frame. It's going to hold it a lot more securely than just gluing. And then now I am taking a zip tie, putting it underneath the wire and wrapping it around the material so it drapes across and it's gonna make the little snowman's um, scarf. That's what you call that, you call that a scarf. And I'm gonna have to go back in and hot glue a couple spots just to keep it up because it tends to fall down just a little bit. So adding a little dab or two of hot glue and that's securing it down just fine. And here's how the little guy turned out. Now on the back of the wire form is the stem of the pumpkin and you can use that to hang it on your door or hang it somewhere in your home or just lean it against something for decor. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really did enjoy all of the crafts that I made and I hope you enjoyed them too. And if you could let me know in the comments below which one was your fra favorite, favorite, I would appreciate it. <laughs> so, and also after you're done watching mine, click on that playlist and check out all the other ladies and what they have created for you for Christmas in July. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!